Uh, good evening, folks. Dr. Freedom here with you. Time for some doctor news. News from in and around the universe. It may not affect you at such a deeply personal, emotional level that you'll have to be time travel back to talk to Sigmund Freud about your mother. But okay, let's get on with it. Let's take a look at what little we do have. Um, before we do that, that's right. That's why I mentioned, yeah, Dr. Freedom and Eric Part 4 is coming along. I know some folks have been interested in it. i um, been getting some interesting comments on it. I want to thank Claire Eden for uh, sharing it to her Facebook page. Um, I've been having a blast doing it. I, I just can't complain. It's been a fun ride. And there's more and more to come. Trust me, that, that first story is going to take a while to complete. And that's going to lead us into yet another story, which I'm going to try to bring in a full cast on. As soon as we can sit down and get read-throughs done and whatnot. But okay, let's get a look at what we do have, what it is going on because there's some interesting stuff. Now, first off, we have, this is how Peter Capaldi would fix the BBC. And if you scroll down here, let's go, let's get right to it. He goes, I'd have more regional drama as the BBC is paid for by the entirety of the nation that should be reflected in its content more. High quality writing and production should be both encouraged and experienced by people all over the country. Now, Capaldi, whose wife Elaine is executive producer on Scottish Island set drama Shetland, well, he explained what he thought were the issues of the corporation's focus on South England. Oh, hey, hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, Southeast England. Okay. Uh, I had to channel an Indian chief just to sort that out. But okay. And I'm uh, sorry, Native American. I'm sorry. All right, moving on. There's always been a slight problem of gravitation to the Southeast or to the centers of production, which not only locates an economic favor in those areas, it also reduces the experience that people in the rest of the country have of actually making television he goes you know of actually making writing acting producing directing and being in it and actually learning how to do it so it's the learning how to do it that has to be spread more evenly all right so wise words from the cat probably from oh i'm not going to go into it it's just a weird thing how you know radio time splits their it quotes up so much in the separate articles it's crazy Okay, support children's character. Oh, God. Char oh, my God. What am I doing? Charity. I almost said characters. What am I doing? So this is a serious matter. Support children's cancer charity. Dr. Script signed Peter Capaldi. And he said here, signed deep breath script signed by patron Peter Capaldi, including a Cyberman sketch, is going to be auctioned off for ch a child's cancer charity. If you love Dr. Who, you have money to spare, and know someone who does, and you do think about bidding or do let your wealthier friend know, it will, do a, it will go to a great cause, helping young people with cancer and their families. Now, if you click on this link, I believe that's right, this one here, that's the actual item that's being auctioned off, signed by Peter Capaldi himself, original sketch done by Peter Capaldi. And it says right here, this, they love this donation, which you're going to be auctioning this week. It, um, now, they don't give a thing as to when the auction is going to take place, but there is, if you click on this right here, this will take you straight to the Twitter um, thing that announces it so keep an eye on this twitter account and chances are it's it, it's good to give you know this way it's good and then the uh, two is a, is the number two it's good to give and go check that out if you're interested okay keep your eye on it all right dr exec moffett on the doctor's unknown past he goes he had a whole life now he speculated about the doctor's life on gallifrey prior to doctor's first adventure now if you listen to big finish there are a number of adventures that take place before an unearthly child that they did like in uh, Companion Chronicles and whatnot. So you may want to go check. One of them I remember is Quintus off the top of my head. So, and that's also when the chameleon circuit still worked. So it's very interesting. All right. Moffat commented in the new issue of Doctor Magazine, the doctor was married on Gallifrey, not just married, but married a long time. He didn't just have children. He had grandchildren. He had a whole life. There's so much we don't know and never will. What happened that black day, what or who launched the doctor, on his never-ending journey. And he also discussed, with, discussed whether or not the doctor is a bigamist in this magazine's issue. And once again, this is another thing that probably took one particular article and split it up to 50 freaking headlines. All right, Realist Effects and R RTD has been nominated for BAFTA Craft Awards. All right, let's see what they got for. Davies nominations for Best Writer for a show Cucumber and for you know, a drama from Channel 4 that focused on the lives and loves of several middle-aged gay men. Something like a grown-up sequel to his earlier show, Queer as Folk. Cucumbers are part of the Davies' new trilogy, Tofu. All right. Tofu, banana, and cucumber. Sorry. Based on a study of the male erection. Oh, my goodness gracious. Oh. Uh, he he apparently, when he read about this study, he said, right there, and then I knew I had my drama. 
And of course, the Real SFX have been nominated for Special Visual and Graphic Effects category for their work on Doctor Who. The new nomination follows their win in 2015. They'll face stiff competition in 2016 from Blue Bolt in The Last Kingdom, Colin Rogers for Fungus, The Bogeyman, and Milk VFX for Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell. Real SFX has a, has a fascinating portfolio, the portfolio, and they've also provided effects for Cucumber, among many other shows. So, hmm, interesting. Moving on. David Tennant's 10th Doctor faces a new deadly enemy, and that is Internet Trolls. That's right. The Tyler and Donna fight to save Earth from a deadly strain of haters in a topical new adventure. Now, this is what all right, going to take place in Jenny T. Colgan's In the Blood, which is the first full-length 10th Doctor novel since 2009, which tells the story of an alien virus that attacks online trolls, feeding on the hatred and despair in cyber bullies everywhere. So if you're interested in this right here, let's prop on here. All right. This will be out on BBC Books on the 12th of May. Jenny T. Colgan's also is one of the writers in the new series of the 10th Doctor and Donna Audio Adventures. So... Keep your eye out for those. Those should be out, I think, coming out in May. i got to double check. I'm looking forward to listening to those. All right. This is just a reminder that Christopher Eccleston's new drama, The A-Word's out. Uh, I guess episode one was, uh, I think, last night. Keep an eye on it. I think episode two is coming up. i got to double check the schedule. Very sorry. But if you're interested in seeing Eccleston you know, in a, in a different type of drama, other than you know, sci-fi drama, it, um, I'm hearing really good reviews about this. So go check this out. And, of course, Watching Miles discuss Torchwood and Broadchurch at a North Wales SFW event. And she talks about our 37-year-old at Welsh actress discussed the possibility of reprising her role as Gwen in the iconic BBC series. And the thing is, she just recently said she's not going to be doing it. But, okay. Speaking exclusively to the Daily Post backstage, DM, she goes, I wish I had an answer for you, but I have no idea. I get asked all the time. And she, basically they're asking about, is there any chance you'll reprise Gwen? She goes, it's not the type of character you easily say goodbye to. And Russell T. Davies is not the type of writer, boss, and friend that you say no to because you know whatever he pens. You're going to love it because he's a genius and I love working for him. But if the day comes, the call comes, and the script is there, I'll be there to put it in. But in the meantime, I've got to get on with other things. Now, here's the big question, though. She just recently did a couple of Big Finish audios as Gwen. Now, does that mean that's out the window, too? Come on. She's a very busy actor. She also, she, also, she's got a daughter. Oh, trust me. Listen to her talk about her daughter if you get a chance. That's funny as hell. I know. I sound like I'm name dropping, but, you know, I just had a blast when she was here, you know, at Cincinnati Comic Con last year. Or Cincinnati Expo. You see, Expo, they don't charge you an arm and a leg. All right, moving on. Now, yeah, actually, that's it. Okay, so once again, keep out, keep your eye out for Doctor, you know, Doctor Freedom and Eric Sky Dark Chapter Four. I'm gonna try to have that out by the end of this week. Um, this is gonna be kind of tough. Um, it's gonna be Easter weekend. That's one of the reasons why I said, look, we're not doing the Omega Files this weekend. I want to, uh, you know, I've got three days off this weekend. I want to go do some other stuff, and plus, I want to spend some some time with the family up north. So, you know, we're and then of course next week after that, we're gonna be doing Daredevil season two. And then the following week after that, we're going to do Unit Dominion. And then the week after that, I believe it's going to be Unit Extinction. So keep your eyes and ears open for that. Well, until next time, everybody, take care, ta-ta, enjoy the rest of your day. Have a good one.